From our perspective, it's a hugely exciting time because what this means is that we can begin to create a vision of how a livable city could be a smart city and reduce our carbon footprint. It gives us an opportunity to rethink, redesign for the future uh, and to hopefully learn from the lessons that nature is really sort of signalling to us. We've become much more innovative in thinking about where we can apply nature-based solutions and what kind of different development scenarios that they can work in. What we developed uh, was this eco shoreline approach where we replicated some of the natural physical characteristics of a shoreline and introduced those into an artificial seawall. There has to be a greater involvement with the scientific community to make sure that nature-based solutions are applied correctly. When PUB took on the role of the National Coastal Protection Agency, I think one of the first things that we, we thought that is absolutely necessary is to bring on board our city master planners. We see that for nature-based solutions, this requires ecosystem collaboration. Any one single company, one single government may be able to work on something at scale, but then how to further scale up for materiality to reach the kind of requirements by Paris Agreement is always the difficult part. There is, I think, a lot of you know, capital on the sidelines today that is interested in investing in, in these nature-based solutions. The green financing part is hugely important because whoever is supplying the money is in a position to stipulate certain conditions. It's critically important that we can measure the performance of built projects for a number of reasons to validate the design predictions that we were making earlier in the project cycle, and also to assist and enable in adaptive management. The biggest threat to the planet is the belief that someone else is going to save it. I think in the future what you'll find is public and private sectors coming together and converging on an overarching vision of success in terms of sustainable cities. ACOM Sustainable Legacies Asia series engages the market to discuss the possibilities of building better. Delivering sustainable legacies is a multi-layered topic. At a micro level, the focus tends to be on sustainability here and now, including energy strategies to reduce emissions, offsetting, and other mitigation tactics, sustainable development, resilience, and the creation of a waste-free circular economy. At a macro level, Sustainability takes a global approach to consumption over the long term in the interests of the planet and the whole of society.